freaking race day, dude. We're here to PR our marathon. You good? Yeah. It's race day. It is technically our first race of the season. Is that what I would say? We are doing a 10K today, a six mile race. Running, we're doing, we're, we're, we're finding ourselves competing in running. We're not signed up today. We're just going with our friend who signed up, but this is all warm up for what I'm doing in February, which will be a running race. I'm not gonna tell you guys the distance, but so today we have to try out a 10K, do six miles, endurance stuff. We're, we're, we're a true hybrid athlete now because we're doing a, a race. We're just gonna go see what our time is. I'm not gonna send the race. I'm gonna, you know, at least try. You should carbo load with that honey that's in your mustache. Is there honey in my mustache? <laughs> we got coffee going and I'm dripping honey all over me. All right, we gotta stop this clip. We'll see you guys when we get there. Whenever you guys are ready, Hussein Bolt is here, dude. Get it in there. Get it in there. That's in there. At least five minutes to get those. <laughs> Freaking race day, dude. We're here to PR our marathon. Let's go. My heart rate's already at 119. Where are you guys? <laughs> you even warmed up yet? All right, we're at mile 18 out of 26. <laughs> yeah, almost done. Feeling nice and fresh. We're good. Where are the barbells? I don't know. I think they're waiting for us at mile 19. <laughs> All right, we're hitting it back around. Let's see if we can find Heather, Megan, and Zach. Found them. Mouth three down. Doing good, doing good. Found Zach again. Way up there. I'm not gonna try to catch him. I gotta run my race, this is practice. Practice. Oh, you passed me at the drop off? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, how did Zach get ahead of me? He was following me. I was like, damn it, now he's, now he's gonna see me ahead of him. Especially with the <laughs> I followed you. I know. For the last like two, I had to bring the heart rate down. Puller said six miles already, but got to run all the way through. Uh, feels good. To shelter to pick up your age group A. Top overall and Now we got to wait for the girls. Is that? How was it? I'd love to try to get you, but no, there's no way. My legs are just... Uh, my fifth mile, I did a 723. I was like, oh, that was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why I, I was like, oh man, now that he's gonna know I'm in front of him, I'm like, I gotta speed yeah. it up a little bit. And I felt you too. I was like, why does he keep pulling away? Oh, that was good. All right, we just ran 10K. How'd it go? Really good. Really good. It's not your YouTube channel. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Went really good. So, I'm preparing for a six hour race in February. February 22nd, I'm gonna do something called the Arctos, I think, Ultra Challenge or something. And it is six hours, you run as far as you can in that six hours. And today was like a tester. As many of, miles as possible. As many miles as possible in six hours. So today was kind of a tester of like where we're at, how the fatigue felt, stuff, blah, blah, blah. I felt really good. I didn't bonk at any point. I know it was only six miles. In a couple weeks, I run nine miles, I run a 15K. But yeah, felt super good, felt strong, healthy, which is the most important part. Ran like an 8.30 pace the entire time, just to like be good, even though my heart rate didn't say that I was cool. Um, I felt good. What about you? How'd it go? I felt good also. All right, it's not your YouTube channel. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, my goals were to finish in under an hour, which we got that. Not walk, didn't walk. Wow. and uh, make sure that my left leg didn't go numb, and yeah. it didn't. <laughs> nice. So it was great. <laughs> so now we actually have to move. I have to go to a podcast. Heather has to move. We have to move her entire office space, and then I have to do another podcast, and then we're going to sauna. That's going to basically be the end of the, yeah. the day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. yep. 
How are you feeling the day after the 10K? Um, I am... I actually feel okay. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Are you sore? Um, I think if I tried to do something like exercising or running or like bodybuilding or something, I definitely would be. Mm. Um, but I don't like overtly feel sore, just like walking around. Nice. All right, guys, it is the next day. It's the day after the five or the 10K. 10k. I keep wanting to say 5k, but it was it was definitely 10. It was 6.18 or whatever so miles. Anyway, it's the day after, and I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I like my hips. My hips are sore. I slept so hard last night. It was incredible. I slept so well, and I think it was because my heart rate was so high for so long. So this is just something like for my chronically ill people, right? My heart rate, you POTS people, pay attention. My heart rate during the 10K run yesterday was 170 plus for the majority of the run. So those of you guys that are worried about your heart rate being super high for a long time and whatever effects from that, it's really not that big of a deal. My resting heart rate when I was sleeping was a tad bit higher, but we're talking from 42 beats per minute to 49. So it's not that big of a deal, nothing to be afraid of. Just, you know, it causes adaptations. You need to create adaptations. So that run specifically helped my fitness with like lactate threshold and got my, my fatigue, um, my ability to sustain fatigue got higher from that workout. So we're feeling good. We're excited in two weeks. No, not two, like not this Friday, but the next Friday, I run a 15K. So we run nine miles. And that one's definitely just gonna be a for fun run. I'm not gonna have to race anybody. Zach's not gonna be there and he's not gonna creep up on me. And then after that, February 22nd, we are running for six hours straight as far as we can go. So I hope you guys do stick around for that. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it, subscribe to the channel if you are new. We'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace out, goodbye.